Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and in today's video I'm working on a Raven Queen Ever After High doll and I'm doing a commission for a Buffy the Vampire Slayer as portrayed by Sarah Michelle Gellar in the TV series Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So the client wanted the Sarah Michelle Gellar character with the black dress and high boots and the final photos will be seen at the end of this video, so feel free to stick around to see those photos or fast forward to see them. So after a few coats of Mr. Super Clear and getting started on the eyes, I'm going in with the tear duct and the waterline with a terracotta Derwent watercolor pencil. All of the products that I use are in the description box below. If I'm missing any, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section with a question and I'll answer it the best I can. So when trying to capture a character, I'll do a few different things. I'll try to shade, use, use a darker shade to give some contouring to capture the general face shape. So Ever After High Dolls, of course, have the big round head, so I'm trying to elongate it a little bit by shading the outer edges. So kind of adding some darker colors to the outside can help elongate the face. And then also the highlights down the center of the nose and forehead. And then I'll try to capture the eye shape by using a reference photo and just, even though my eyes are quite bigger than the actual character, I'll try to get that same shape as the character or actor's eyes. And I'll do the same with the lips. And then I'll shade around the nose to try to make the nose look similar to that character. So then that helps me try to connect the look of the doll to the actual character so that when you look at it you can kind of get a general feeling of who it is, but it looks more like my style so it doesn't look actually exactly like the character. So here I'm trying to reference a photo to get her lip shape the same as Sarah Michelle Gellar's. And I used the pan pastels for the shading. I used a custom mix of some terracotta and peach and then blended the bottom lip in with some white and then did some line work with the Derwent pencil in, in terracotta. adding some blush and blending that out with some colorless blender by Pan Pastel. And like I've said, the affiliate links to the supplies that I'm using are in the description box below. If you use those affiliate links, I do get a small portion of the sale. So support there for your shopping is very appreciated. Even if you don't purchase what I have linked, if you use those links to start your session, that does help us out. So I'm going in with some highlighting around the eyes and eyebrow area and really darkening in that white of the eye. So like I said, this is not for sale. This is a commission piece, but I do have some dolls for sale in my Etsy shop. And that link is in the description box below. I'm getting ready to start another line. I'm working through a couple of commissions for the holidays. And then once I'm done, I'll be starting another uh, 2019 line. So stay tuned for that. If you're interested in a commission, I do have one spot available before the end of the year. 
So actually, by the time this video is up, it may not still be available, but please feel free to contact me for to be added to the waiting list. You can email me through the link in the description box below. There is an email address, or you can contact me on social media. I'm on Instagram and Facebook mainly. So Sarah Michelle Geller has green eyes, so I decided to go in with a couple of different shades of green probably about three or four shades of green and then I did a little bit of terracotta around the pupil just to give it some dimension or some extra character and I gave her sort of a her eyes are kind of wide open but I gave her kind of a uh, under the eyelid glare just because it she, I wanted her to look determined. She's going to kill some vampires, apparently, so I wanted her to look like she was determined. So that helps when either the eye is uh, slanted closed a little bit, or just when you have like half of the actual iris under the eyelid, it gives it, it can give it more of a determined expression. So just going in on the pupil and eye, iris with some more detail. I'm detailing out the ears. And then I'll give her some gloss, some Liquitex high gloss varnish on the eyes. After spraying her with about four or five coats of Mr. Super Clear to seal that up. And then I'll add the upper eyelashes when I'm done. For the hair, I rooted her with some wheat-colored alpaca to reflect a blonde hair color. And I thinned it out with some thinning shears and just gave her a, a sort of a, a layered, long layered look to match the character with a little piece pulled back. So it's really difficult for me to record when I'm doing that kind of hairstyle, but I'm going to try for future videos to record the hairstyling. It's just a different camera setup that I don't just have some trouble working while I have the camera set up that way, if it makes sense. But since that what that's what people want to see, I'll do my best to try that. So anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and all the wonderful comments. You guys are so sweet. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.